Hey there, welcome to my curls. And I'm in our ice cream shop today. I'm in Craving the Curls. A little bit later in the video, I'll give you a little quick tour around our ice cream shop. But you're probably thinking, what in the world does my gray hair have to do with our ice cream shop? And I'm gonna tell you. I guess because I am in the public view, I'm here every time we're open. And so when customers come in to order ice cream, they talk to me or they see me here. So it's almost as if it has opened up a door for people to ask me questions and make comments about my hair that they would normally not make to the, the just passerby on the sidewalk. So I'm gonna share some of those comments and questions with you today because they're pretty funny. We can have a good laugh about this. So here we go. So when I'm at the ice cream shop, because I work in food, I have to have my hair up. So my hair is always in a ponytail. My gray hair is on full display when I'm at Craving the Curls. And so that spurs a lot of questions and conversations from our customers. And the most common thing that people ask me is, is that your real hair? kind of question is that clearly this is my real hair but and then my question back to them is well do you mean my gray hair or my brown hair because I don't know what they're talking about are they talking about my curly hair are they talking about my gray hair or are they talking about this colored stuff I don't know so then I have to go back and ask them to clarify their question but when people see me like this because there is all the gray they're super confused, I guess, and they want to know if this is my real hair. And then they want to ask me, well, did you do that on purpose? Did you color your hair that way? The further into my transition I've gotten and the more like half and half head I have, the more often I seem to get asked that question. Did I do that on purpose? Did I put those different colors in my hair? So then I always have to explain, no, I stopped coloring my hair a year ago and this is grown out and this is not grown out. And so then they understand, but that I'm always asked that question. Did I do that on purpose? There's always the comment, your hair is so unique. Oh my gosh, I love your hair. Well, then that leads me to well, what do you love about it? Do you, are you talking about the gray? Are you talking about the curls? Are you talking about the color? Are you talking about that I have all these colors? Like, I honestly don't know what somebody means when they say that. I've just gotten to the point that I say, well, thank you very much, and assume they're talking about either my curls or my gray and not the fact that my head is cut in half with two different colors these days. Another question I get asked commonly, and it's normally from older folks, is how old are you? Because they see the gray hair, and I know that I do look younger than I am. I'm 48, but people want to, in their minds, kind of match my age with my look, and so they ask me, how old are you? Because they're trying to just get all this figured out in their head. And when I tell them I'm 48, I either get uh-uh, like there is no way you are 48. Or if my daughter happens to be rolling ice cream in here because she does work here with me, I'll come over and say, yeah, like this is my daughter. Here she is, she's 17. And then they believe me that I'm 48, but the gray hair really throws everybody off and they wanna know my age. Something else that happens a lot in the ice cream shop is because we're in, um, we have a lot of tourists here in Paducah. We are on the river, we have a big steamboat industry that brings a lot of tourists in downtown Paducah, and we are the national quilt headquarters of the world. We have the National Quilt Museum here and the largest quilt show in the world. So when that quilt show takes place two times a year, we get a lot of quilters in here. And so when people come in to get ice cream, they tend to come in groups. Um, because they're traveling and visiting Paducah, you have different couples who come in together to get ice cream. So I can always feel when people are talking about me. I mean, we're in an ice cream shop. We're in pretty close quarters. 
but people will get their ice cream and they'll go sit down and I can just tell they're talking about me. And what happens is one of the husbands or one of the men in the group, it is never a woman in the group, will come up to me and say, my wife is embarrassed to ask you this, but is that like, is that your really silver hair? And it is so funny because the women won't ask me. When the women are in groups with their husbands, it is always the husband that comes up to ask me the question because the women, when they're with their husbands, are afraid to talk to me about it. And normally when this happens, it is from the older generation, the, the generation ahead of me. Um, they sit down, I can tell they're talking about me, and then they send up one of the husbands to uh, figure out what's going on with my hair. <laughs> and then the last comment that I get on my hair, and I think it's actually my favorite comment, is when a couple comes in, a man and woman, and the man is getting gray. He either has gray on his head or some gray in his beard, and he's with his girlfriend or his wife that does not have gray hair. You can tell she's at the age that she would have gray hair, but she's obviously coloring her hair. So when the men and the couple order their ice cream, and they watch us make their ice cream, and then they pick it up, and I happen to be the person at the topping station and I hand the man the ice cream, I get a vibe from the man. Like he's really, really, really staring at me really hard, almost as if to say, could you go talk to my wife and tell her that she could do what you're doing? That, I swear that's the vibe I'm getting. The men are talking to me with their eyes wishing that, that their wives would catch on to the fact that I have gray hair and stop coloring their hair, do what I'm doing because the men are going gray and they want their wives to do it with them. Obviously, the guys aren't saying that out loud, but I swear that's what they're saying to me with their eyes. So there's some pretty interesting stuff that goes on in the ice cream shop, y'all. I get comments every day about my gray hair. Now, if I were to come in here with my hair down so that all of the gray is not showing, I don't know that I would get so many comments and questions, but this is what it looks like. When I'm at work, it's not fun, but when you work in food, you gotta have your hair up. And so customers who are regulars who live here in our hometown love to come in and comment on how much grayer my hair has gotten since the last time they saw me. We have some customers who have known since the day I started going gray what I was doing because I've been very open about it. And so they come in and they love to talk about my progress, which is kind of fun. I feel like I have a support group here in the ice cream shop that loves to talk about my hair. So if you have gotten some really funny or great comments or questions about your gray hair, let me know, comment. I just think this is so funny and I would love to talk about it and have a good laugh. But since we're here, y'all, and we're in the ice cream shop, and the ice cream shop is really named after me and my curls, craving the curls, let me show you around. So if you ever happen to be in town in Paducah, Kentucky or St. Charles, Missouri, stop in to a Craving the Curls. We would love to see you. But if you want to see me and my gray hair, I'm in the Paducah store. So that's what I got for you guys. Some funny comments and questions that I get asked all the time when I'm in the ice cream shop about this stuff, this gray hair.
I'll see you later. I got ice cream to roll.